you would type this in. I wish I had a calculator up here to show you, but I would type sine negative 1, and it's going to open a parenthesis for you. I would hit square root, and usually in at least the older calculators, when you hit square root, another parenthesis will pop up, and you would just put the 3 inside that parenthesis and close it, because that's the only thing you want to take the square root of. Divide by 2, and then close that parenthesis. Okay, so that's what it would look like in a calculator. I believe that's going to be, is it 60? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing that might happen, depending on your calculator, when you hit that square root button, if it lets you type underneath the square root, you would put the 3 under there, but then make sure you push that arrow button to the right to come out of the radical so that it would be just a 2 on the bottom like that. You don't want that 2 underneath the radical. Okay. Either way, you should come out to 60 degrees. That was just a weird one to type in the calculator. Okay, let's talk about number 10. Number 10 is a lot like the second one we did in the warm-up today. You need to find this angle, but you're given all three of the measurements, so you can actually choose any one of the trig ratios you want. What do you think? What do you feel like? Jotea? I have a question. Sure. Yep. So you weren't asking for the fractions like we did yesterday? No. This is saying, what is the measure of the actual angle? So when do you do the fraction? Well, if I asked you what was what is the sine of angle A or what is the cosine of angle oh, okay. A, that's where you're setting up a fraction. Okay. This actually wants to know what the angle itself is equal to. Okay? okay? Um, pick one. Sine, cosine, tangent. 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 Okay. So angle A is here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I can say tan of A would be 10 over 24. So, Jotea, if the question had said, what is the tangent of A, you would just set up that fraction. Okay. okay? But I want to know what the actual angle is equal to. So when I'm looking for this, that's when I'm going to do the negative <laughs> 1. So tan negative 1 of 10 divided by 24. I don't know what that comes out to be. Say it again, I'm sorry. 23, that sounds right. And that would have worked with any one of the trig functions as long as you chose the right two numbers. Okay? Let's head to the back, because the word problems is really where I want to focus today. Yeah, can we do 16B? Oh. Yes, after we do number 13. I had a question on number 13 first. Okay, it is going to be small. Um, I don't know how small yours was, but it is going to be small. Okay. Um, this was pretty similar to the one that was in your notes about the airplane. The one in, in your notes was asking you to find this angle, and this one's asking you to find this angle, but is that really different? No, I don't know. No, okay. because remember, because of alternate interior angles, if I'm looking for this angle here, it's really going to be the same as this angle here. Okay? Um, and again, this is, you're finding the angle of descent. For some reason, I got 90 degrees. Okay. Just a minute, I'll help you with it. Um, the angle of descent would be if your plane was flying along all happy, happy, and then decided that it needed to turn and head to the airport. It's the angle that it would have to turn to head down. It's not this angle. If your plane was flying at an angle already and then turned and went straight like 90 degrees to the ground, I would hope that would not be how your plane was landing at the airport. Okay? <laughs> so this is not the angle you want. It's actually this little guy over here. Okay, so that's mistake number one that people make. Mistake number two is forgetting to do what here? Okay. Yeah, Three one's in miles. feet and one's in miles. Okay, so I'm going to take this and divide by 5,280. Actually, you're going to divide. Nope, not yet. Thank you. So this is 6.25 miles. Which trig function is going to help you from this angle? Tangent. Okay, so we're going to say tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent, so 6.25 over 130. And then you're going to hit second tan of this divided by that. And I think it comes out to like 2.75 maybe? Yeah, no, mine is Okay. 2.75 degrees. 
What's that? 12? Okay. Let's look at 12. Yep, we'll talk about it. Let's do number 12. A garage is 8 feet above street level, so this driveway is slanted. And it wants me to find the angle of incline, which is the same thing as an angle of elevation. So which angle is that that I'm looking at? It's this little guy in the corner. Okay, because you're asking yourself, what angle is your driveway sloping upward at? Okay, so this is the angle you're trying to find. If you know this number and this number, which trig function is this going to be? This is sine. Good. So I would say sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, so 8 over 45. And then you're going to do second sine of 8 divided by 45. 10.24? I got 62 degrees. Oh, wait, that's over 12. I got right. Okay, good. The people getting <laughs> 1, what did you type into your calculator? Say that. Okay, but remember that when you're solving for, you can't type in sine of 8 over 45. You would do sine negative 1 of 8 over 45. So anytime you're trying to find the angle, you're going to use the negative one sign. Okay. Okay. Um, 15 was I hearing? Um, we need 15 or is yeah, it 16? Okay. So 15. No. Um, no, because that would be this angle. Okay. Think about which trig function you would need to find this angle, and then do second whatever that trig function is. For number 15, there's a 38 degree angle of depression, which remember the angle of depression is like if you're looking straight ahead and then you turn your head down, that's your angle of depression there. Okay? Oh, wow, that stuff popped up at the bottom. Um, but what I really want is this side length over here. So this is my triangle. How can I move that angle so that it's inside my triangle someplace? Yeah, let's put it down here. So this is really 38 degrees. And I'm trying to find this. So that's opposite from the 38. And this is adjacent. Okay, so tangent, yep. So I would say tan of 38. This is not going to be an inverse one because I'm not looking for the angle equals x over 10. Can you help me with tan of 38? Four decimal places, please. 0 0.7812. 0 0.7812. Actually, it's 0 0.7813. Okay, 0 0.7813 equals x over 10. Put that over 1 and let's cross multiply. And you end up with like x equals like 78.1. I yeah, got 7.8. Oh, that's right, sorry. 7.8. I was doing 100, not 10. Seven. Yep, 7.8. Now, is that my final answer? No, you have to Good. 7 meters. 7 meters. Okay, except this 7.8 is in meters, and the 170 centimeters, which is the height of the guy, that's in centimeters. There's 1,000 centimeters in a meter. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. 1.7, good. So 170 divided by 100. Well, because if you have 170 centimeters, you need 100 to make one meter, right? Yeah. And then you would have 70 left over, which is 0.7. If it was 70 out of 100, it would be 0.7. So 170 centimeters is 1.7 meters. And I'm going to add that on. I'm sorry, I'm writing right over that thing. but. And I think that's going to be 9.5. That would be your final answer. Because when you did the trig, that just found this. And you've got to add this chunk down here as well. Okay? And 16B, am I hearing? Yeah. There's actually two different ways you could do 16B. Oh, yeah, because it gives you two minutes. Um, A, one? No. I don't know how you're getting all these ones. Okay. Let's look at, let's do part A together first. So what angle does the ladder make with the ground? That's looking for this angle right here. Okay. And I have this side and this side. 
So that's adjacent and hypotenuse. So this is going to be cosine. I would say cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, 8 over 24. Now, from here, you are not typing cosine of 8 over 24. You are typing what? The inverse. The inverse cosine. So cosine negative 1 of 8 divided by 24. Okay. And I think it comes out to like 70. Like, okay. 71 degrees. I think where I messed up, I wasn't doing the inverse. I was doing the Right. Yeah. Which is why I kept emphasizing that just now because I'm sure that's what you're doing wrong. Yeah, if you typed in just cosine of 8 over 24, I still didn't think it would be 1, but um, I, I bet that was your mistake. Okay, is it? Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so you were forgetting, Jotea, you were forgetting to use the negative 1. You were forgetting to do this right here. Okay? Okay. Um, and then it says, how high above the ground is the top of the ladder? Well, really, so that's looking for this right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what could you do without using any trig at all? I don't know. Well, not really add eight. What kind of triangle is that? Right, right. right triangle. How do you find the missing side length in a right triangle? Add them up. Like multiply one more. Starts with a P. Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, theorem would have worked. Okay. You could that. have done Pythagorean theorem. If you didn't know to use Pythagorean theorem, we can do trig. So. If I'm going to do trig, I now know this is 71 degrees, okay? I have to have the opposite in there somewhere because I want to have the x in my problem. So I could do opposite and adjacent or opposite and hypotenuse. What do you feel like? Wait, why are you So I'm using tangent, opposite and adjacent. Tan of 71 is x over, if we're doing tangent, it would be opposite over adjacent, which is the 8. If I had wanted to use the 24, that would have been fine, but I would have had to use sine. Okay. Final answer? Yeah. So tan of 71 is some decimal, and then you would end up putting that over 1 and multiplying by 8. Say it again. 23.2 feet. Okay? I know we did a lot of them. Do you feel like you could benefit from another day with this assignment? Okay. Um, 